It seems we are in the midst of conspiracy. Crime. Murder. Not murder, but uh, definitely conspiracy and definitely crime. Allegedly? So... There's some things we're going to talk about. You've already read the title, uh, and this has been making its rounds on Instagram because actually, uh, like big name media has picked this up, which is crazy. But um, okay, you already know what to do before we get into it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload. And we upload on this channel like every single day. So like, what the F are you doing? Follow me on Instagram at The Simple Consultant and become a channel member. Support your boy. Shop at thetimetellershop.com. We have a whole bunch of Amazon affiliate links at the description below. I love you. All right, let's jump into this. So I'm going to put myself in the corner. No one puts baby in corner. Except for me. All right, check this out. So, boom. Omega blames former employees for auction of $3 million fake Speedmaster. Now, this is a speedy that is not in question uh, this is the one in question. Okay. Really nice tropical dial. Chocolate. Chocolate. Broad arrow. Looks very nice, right? Hmm. Ooh. Every vintage watch lover's wet dream. By the way, it is 2.54 p.m. Let's get down to business. Uh, this story was broken by Periscope. My friend Periscope, I believe, uh, initially. So... Saying this is a fake, I, I would consider it a fake, okay? But some people are stipulating that Franken watches aren't really a fake. It's just a bunch of authentic parts being put together. But here's the thing. Those fake watches that are being put together, they're producing a watch that didn't exist. Like, this Speedmaster existed, but, like, this isn't serialized, right? So, it, it it's fake, I don't know. Anyway, the most expensive Omega ever sold at auction is actually a $3.4 million fake. Speedmaster, uh, which has been revealed as a Franken watch, was sold at Phillips in November 2021. Uh, I'm going to read to you this article from Rob Report. An immaculate original Speedmaster from 1957. Again, guys, if you want to see a modern iteration, one, uh, can I just go on a tangent real quick? One thing I absolutely love about Omega is they do reissues properly. They, they, they honor their past without mucking up uh, and bastardizing the things that were beautiful. Um, you know, they've, they've done some gorgeous, uh, within the last, what, five years? The last two years, uh, they did a reissue of, of essentially, you know, a Speedmaster Jumbo. and Or, excuse me, Seamaster Jumbo. Gorgeous watch. They did the uh, uh, Omega Marine. Um, they did a reissue of that, I believe, in 2000. 9 2007 or 2009 gorgeous watch and then they came out with the omega speedmaster 57 series which is literally the broad arrow uh beautiful vintagey uh speedmaster so if you want a modern version of one of these watches then you can go ahead and uh buy one of those <coughs> excuse me i'm still getting over that that little teensy weensy cold but this is a watch that i guess was put together by a bunch of parts and the interesting thing is, uh, turns out that not just collectors, but even brands themselves can be duped on the authenticity of their own product. And Omega has alleged that this example had inside help. The company claims three former employees were involved in the elaborate scheme. The final hammer price was over 25 times the pre-sale high estimate of 131000 Uh, Omega reportedly bought the watch for its in-house collection. <laughs> Interesting. The Swiss watchmaker claims that a former employee of its museum and brand heritage department worked in tandem. This is a quote, quote, worked in tandem with intermediaries to purchase the watch for Omega Museum. Uh, the ex-employee reportedly told the company executives that it was a rare, exceptional timepiece that would be an absolute must for the in-house collection. Ooh, this is so freaky deaky conspiracy. Oh, so they put this together. They, they put it up at auction. By the way, Bloomberg reported that the seller has not been named yet. So, so these guys put this frank and watch together one of them puts it up at auction then someone else buys it for the in-house collection 
for the hammer price of 3.4 mil. And they all split the money afterwards. And then Omega, it, 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 the company Omega is, is left holding the bag. The timepiece appeared to be pristine, a first-generation example of the iconic Speedmaster. The watch was distinguished by a tropical dial, which, for those of you who don't know, tropical is patination. So any black dial that turns kind of chocolatey uh, is, is known as a tropical dial because, you know, the sun, the tropical sun kind of bleaches it a little bit. Uh, broad arrow hour hand, metal bezel with a tachymeter, uh, the oval O Omega logo, but the wrist candy was in fact cobbled together using components from mostly authentic timepieces and other potentially fabricated parts. Oh my gosh, it wasn't! It wasn't fully authentic parts. This makes me sick. It goes on. Omega alleges that three ex-staffers who participated in the ruse may have been involved with the watch's assembly. Its false legacy allowed the profiteers to justify a highly inflated bid made through the intermediaries. Wow. And then here, this is this is Bloomberg mentioned this. Omega does not yet know who the knockoff Speedmaster or who took the knockoff Speedmaster to Phillips to sell at the Geneva watch auction. Wow. Of course, Phillips was reportedly unaware of the alleged criminal activity when it considered the watch and carried out due diligence before sending it under the gavel. Man, this is naughty, naughty. <coughs> and this is funny because people ask me all the time, uh, how do I get into vintage watch collecting? And uh, I've made numerous episodes. Guys, I have a playlist dedicated to episodes for new collectors. Uh, these are episodes that I wish I had when I first started watching. Excuse me, when I first started collecting watches. Let me say that whole thing again. Gato clip it. Uh, these are episodes that I wish I watched when I first started collecting. Um, and I made an episode, numerous episodes about how to get into the vintage watch game. But a, a short answer is carefully, very carefully, as carefully as you can. Um, and the reason why is because you need to read, learn. You, you have to really love watches, like really, really love watches on a totally different level when you get into vintage watches because you have to be okay and enjoy reading as much as possible about different reference number variations and all the ways that it was offered, um, you know, dial differences and, oh, you know, there were logos that were released like this and sometimes you have these markings and, and those markings are different, but if you have them like this, then it's definitely fake and they never did them like this or blah, 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 blah. And it's, it's a different animal, guys. It's a totally different animal. And what I'm getting at is even Phillips auction like 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 world renowned auction houses mess this up clearly they did their due diligence apparently and <clears throat> didn't recognize this as being uh, a fake and then whoever was at omega i'm not going to say the dude that 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 bought it for omega was in on it but i think maybe 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 i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know but omega themselves the people at omega that weren't involved also didn't initially know. So if you have people at Omega that didn't know initially that this was fake, and you have people at the auction house that deal with watches all the time that didn't know this was fake, then what chance, what shot in hell do you have when it comes to, to finding a fake? I'm just kidding, guys. You watch the Time Teller channel, so you have a better chance than any of these schmucks out here. Just watch my episodes, ask me questions, I'll teach you as much as I can, and... Uh, Hopefully you won't spend $3.4 million on a Franken watch. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, insane story and um, funny, but also kind of sad. But a hey, uh, Omega did not immediately respond to Rob Report's request for a comment. Of course not. They're not. They're hoping. They're probably pissed as hell that anybody is 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 reiterating the story. But uh, sorry, Omega. I love you. But this, this was a little bit of a misstep. All right, guys. I will catch you on the next one. I'll see you tomorrow for the Saturday live stream. Uh, as always, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Check out thetimetellershop.com and become a channel member. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay blessed. I'm Jory Goodman, the Time Teller. And always remember, I didn't invent time. 
I just tell it. A little dabble do ya. Mm -hmm.